just like this, completely crush the bed. I am down here in our aluminum shop and I have one of the aluminum F-150s here. This one had a tree fall on it, just like this, completely crushed the bed. And it had some damage to the cab corner, minor. I already fixed that while I was waiting on the parts to show up. But this one's gonna get a new roof panel. It crushed the roof right here, as well as over here. And then there's some other damage throughout it. Might be kind of hard to see because it's dirty. So this one is going to get a new roof panel, which I have right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna cover every, all of the interior and I'll go ahead and start cutting this roof off. So normally, whenever I do a roof, I normally cover everything with a bunch of welding blankets. And then I put a tarp over top to pick up all the debris. However, this entire roof is rivet bonded on and glued. It doesn't get any welding. So I'm not really too concerned about putting welding blankets down because there won't be any sparks or anything going in there. So I'm just gonna put this tarp over everything. So this roof is laser welded all the way across underneath this seam sealer right here. So I'm gonna go ahead first, I'm gonna trim this roof off. I'm just gonna cut right along the edge there, get the roof off, then I'll come back and I'll trim this last little bit out.
So I got this roof sitting on here. I wanted to make sure it fit properly, make sure it sits and everything looks correct, which it does, sits nice and flush. It gets bonded down both sides and then it gets bonded and riveted across the back and the front. So I'm gonna lift this back off and I will go ahead and lay out my adhesive and get this roof put on permanently. Before I lift it off, I'm going through real quick and I'm marking where the old rivets were because I have to put the new ones next to those. So it just makes things a little easier whenever this roof goes back on, whenever I start riveting. So I know where these are. I got this one all riveted on. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one sit and let the glue dry and I'll get back on it later. I am back onto this F-150. All the glue is dry. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clean up all the excess glue that oozed out all the way around. Then I'm going to mix up some epoxy primer. And I'm gonna put epoxy primer down where the windshield and back glass urethane goes. And I'm also gonna put epoxy primer down anywhere on bare metal down both sides. And then once that's dry, I have to seam seal this all the way across. And I have to use a self-leveling seam sealer that will kind of fill in this channel. I'll show you guys that whenever I get to it. This right here is exactly why I put this tarp in here. Now I'll be able to fold the tarp closed, pull it out of the truck, and it'll keep from getting all that shit inside the truck. So this is the epoxy primer that I just mixed up. And they always want window urethane put on top of epoxy primer that's why i'm laying this down then i'm going to put it on the sides on any bare metal because the seam sealer i have to use on the sides is not made to go on top of bare metal Now, I have some self-leveling seam sealer here. I had to bake a kind of like a dam on each end of this channel because this stuff is very runny. But it levels out and flows out on its own.
Now on this front corner, since it's sloped quite a bit, I have to actually keep on pulling it back up because it all wants to run down. So luckily this stuff sets up pretty quick. So it just takes a couple minutes and then I'll see this stuff start to start to get hard. And at that point it'll kind of stay up where I want it once it starts to get a little thicker.